and the title of this mini-podcast is Self-Discovery. A lot of years ago, I was chatting with my friend and our seminar coordinator, Hallie, and she brought up the topic of self-improvement. She was saying it was too limiting a term. I agreed. I said that most self-improvement is geared towards the wants and desire of, let's say, the ego. More of this, less of that. Self-improvement is a buzzword that has drawing power, and I'll continue to use it because it's the language most people speak. Yet the term casts too narrow a net and can only capture a certain type of fish when there are oceans full to choose from. Personal improvement is a noble goal, and it pays dividends. It rarely delivers the big payday the ads would have you believe. The big payoff comes when you find yourself through self-discovery. Self-discovery has you look inward versus outward. It has you peer into your soul rather than examine the contents of your mind. Examining your thoughts leads you to other thoughts, which lead to a never-ending loop of internal dialogue. That strategy produces wonderful arguments and theories, but too few solutions. To quote the late Dr. Dave Dobson, theory is bullshit. Defending your theory is bullshit squared. We spend far too much energy defending stuff that doesn't work. Self-improvement has a cadre of defenders. Self-discovery is something not as sexy as self-improvement, so you won't find as many people drawn towards it. It's a path that always leads inward, towards your source. Self-discovery won't have you chase the horizon, but just enjoy the sunrise. There isn't a lot of activity associated with self-discovery, yet it does take some work. The work begins by quieting your mind, the hoarder of self-improvement chit-chat. Once your mind calms down and spaces show up between your thoughts, you start to get a peek at yourself. It's more of a feel than it is a picture, but the sensation is unmistakable. The calm clarity you find when you go inward is self-discovery. You find it at the deepest point. The grand offshoot of self-discovery is that self-improvement is its natural byproduct. There's less striving and more allowing. The things you struggled with for years and years get put into a different light and seen from a different angle. This allows new strategies to form naturally instead of being contrived. You allow your internal resources to guide you versus having your mind berate you. The discovery of self is the most valuable gift you'll ever receive, and the giver is closer than your nose. All the best. John.